Hey, what's up, Chosen Vessels? It's your main man, Drew 2, coming at you with another Drew 2 video. What I'm here to discuss today is this. You don't need them. You are all you ever needed, okay? You're all you could ever need, all right? Let those people go and move on. You're all you ever need and then some. You don't need them. You're all you need, and I'm here to tell you about it right now. You are powerful all by yourself, okay? You are a force all by yourself. People, a lot of what we don't realize as chosen vessels, as chosen ones, is that a lot of people get with friends and they, they, they get in groups and stuff like that is because, not to say they're weak, some people they do it because they're weak, bullies, etc., all them types of people, gang stalkers, the nar some narcissists that don't roll dolo. Some people are just they like to get in groups so they can pick on people, they could bother people, they feel stronger around other people. But for the majority of it, most people just like to be in groups because they feel comfortable. People feel comfortable when they're in groups. People like to socialize. People just like to be around other people. But when P in, in this particular situation that we're talking about right now, you're strong. You're a strong person. Yes, you like to be around people. Yes, you like people in general. But sometimes you just need to be by yourself. And sometimes you get all your power most of the time, if not all the time. You get most of your power when you're alone because you got to recharge. You got to uh, recharge and you got to reboot because a lot of your energy you get when you're alone. A lot of your ideas you get when you're alone. Empaths need to recharge. We need to get by ourselves. We need to download. We need to connect back to God, connect back to our higher self. And we need to get back in tune with our, you know, saying with our good feelings, with our energy. Because we're when you get around other people, it could get a little aggravating, it could get a little irritating because it's all the different energies. And we tend to be by ourselves most of the time. We tend to get creative when we're by ourselves most of the time. We tend to like to be alone so that we can be creative, work on our ideas, work on our goals, get things accomplished. And that's why a lot of the times, even when we're out in public or even when we're around people, we'll still be by ourselves just in the corner thinking while everybody else is socializing because we gain strength. We're strong by ourselves. Other people they need, they gain strength from others. They gain strength from socializing. They gain strength from being in groups. They gain strength from uh, partaking in conversation and stuff like that. Most of the time, when I'm by myself, I, I, I'm just chilling. I'm good. I don't need to be around other people but there are people out there who need the company of other people there are people out there who need to be around others and i get it i understand everybody needs friends but me personally i feel comfortable by myself a lot of people they don't feel comfortable by themselves so with that being said when you don't need other people and other people do you're you're strong not to say that they're not strong but you're strong for being able to be by yourself because when other people feel the point where they need to be by themselves sometimes they'll go with other people where you'll just work on something you'll either just focus go read a book go create something that's what you do a lot of people, they go put that time and energy into other people. They go put that time and energy into being around like in other folks and being in groups and stuff when you'll take that time and that energy to figure out who you are. You'll take that time and energy to find yourself. And there's power in that. When you take time to find yourself instead of running to other people, instead of uh, running away from God and, and, and seeking uh, other people at that particular time, there's power in that. Sometimes you're supposed to be by yourself. Sometimes you're supposed to take time and evaluate what's going on in your life. You know, uh, you don't always have to be around people. Sometimes it may be a period for where God's just sitting you down for a minute for you to figure some things out. Because when you're around people, you can't really hear God like that. You can't really hear yourself like that. You can't really focus like that. People take you off what you're supposed to do. They take you off your, um, take you off uh, the, your path in terms of like you putting that time into what you were about to do. Now you putting time into other people and other things. So there's power in being able to not need other people. And there's power in being able to just be by yourself and just confide 
in that and not feel lonely, not be alone, because you don't have to be alone. You may feel that way, but what you're really doing is you're really just gaining strength. You're really finding out who you are. And you may feel lonely because no one's there and you may be afraid because you haven't been by yourself. Maybe you're used to being around people, but there's nothing to be afraid about. And there's nothing to worry about because number one, God's always there. And number two, that's time for you to figure out who you are. That's time for you to find you. That's time for you to improve and make yourself better. Okay. So you don't need other people. Okay. You're all you could ever need because if you find out who you are and you figure out who you are and you make that the primary, uh, primary thing that you focus on right now in this particular time when other people aren't around and you'll you'll be better by the time that God actually sends the right people in your life you'll be able to have the life that you want you know you won't be stressed and you won't be worried things will be working out and when you actually find out that you don't need other people like I said you become stronger because there's strength in that when you find out that you're all you need and you don't go around trying to force other people to be in your life and trying to make things happen and trying to make things work. There's power in that because at that point, people are going to come to you. People are going to see that you're a strong person all by yourself. People are going to see that, wow, this person's got something. This person's got something going on. I can feel it. They're going to be able to feel something special about you. And it's the fact it's that strength. They're going to be able to feel that you went through the storm and you came out a tougher person. You went through the cold, dark nights and you came out a, a, a tougher individual. You didn't let it break you. It, it, it's what made you, okay? You didn't let the tough times uh, break you. You let the tough times make you. And when you take your time and you find yourself and you use it to improve and you use it to figure out what you want to do and what you want to be in your life, you're basically taking that time and you're using it to become your greatest version. That's what you're doing. And that's what you're supposed to do at that time, with your, with your time like that. And that's why you're all you need, because you have all you need to succeed. And since you have all you need to succeed, if you're alone and there's no one there, why not use that time to improve? Why not use that time to make yourself better? All right, why not use that time to be strong? Accept it, okay? Get, embrace it. Accept it, embrace it, and and um, dive into it wholeheartedly and be like, you know what? This is it. This is me. It's just me right now. This is all I got. I got me. I got God. I got my goals and my dreams, and I'm going to uh, perfect my life. I'm going to use this time to make my life better. I'm going to use this time to uh, keep going in the right direction. Be thankful and be grateful in this time period. Be thankful and grateful for everything that you have. Be thankful and grateful for everything that you went through. Be thankful and grateful for how far you've made it because it's helping you become your greatest version. All right. It's helping you become the person that you were meant to become. All right. All, the, all that time where, where you were uh, down, all that time where there was nobody and it was just you, all that time where you you uh, felt you needed somebody, you felt like uh, you should have people in your life. Nah, you need that. What you need is you need to get your life together. You need to be using that time to get better. You need to be using that time to improve. Don't sit there and feel sorry for yourself. Don't sit there and be upset. Oh, man. Ah, oh, man. It'd be nice to have some friends. Oh, man. It'd be cool if I had uh, somebody in my life. Don't do that. What you do is you make yourself popping. Make yourself more valuable. Make yourself that much greater and that much better because you're already great. You're already better. Just keep improving on yourself and you're going to love you. And the more you love you, the more other, you're going to attract people to you. All right. The more you love you, people are going to be like zooming into your life. People are going to be flying into like just people are going to be wanting to come into your life at a rapid rate. When you love you and you become what you, and you become something that you love, you become something that you can't get enough of. You become something that you adore yourself. Man, people are going to be on you like flies on. That's what I was trying to say without the cuss word. But people are going to be on you. And when you use that time to better yourself and you use that time to love you, you use that time to put that love into you instead of looking for somebody else to uh, put love into or looking for something else to put love into, go inward. 
okay? Use that time to create, make yourself better. Use that time to figure out what you like, who you are, what you want to be. Use that time to figure out reasons to love you, reasons why you would want to be around you so other people would want to be around you too. All right, we done feeling sorry for ourselves. No more of that, all right? We're not going to feel sorry for ourselves. We're not going to feel bad for ourselves. We're not going to feel sad for ourselves. None of that sorry stuff. Mm-mm, mm-mm, not today. We, mm-mm, nah, not today. That's not That's not the way because we want to get further. We want to be able to leave this behind. We want to be able to move forward from this and be able to have better. All right, we want to be able to let go of this situation. We want to let go of all the negativity and we want to be able to focus on the silver lining and in the situation. And that's the fact that you have you. All right. The good thing about nobody being there is you got you and you could always make yourself better. You could always do something to uh, improve. You could always do something. So that way you'll feel that much better about yourself, about your life. That'll make you more confident. All right. People love confidence. You want to be a confident person. When you do, when you're doing business, when you're in relationships, partnerships, you want to be confident. All right, you want to be able to do things to that way make yourself that much better. So that way people will gravitate towards you. Make yourself somebody that people want to gravitate towards. Maybe some things you got to work on. Maybe some things that you need to sit and think about. Sit down and think about. It, be like, hmm, am I some? And do I? Well, would I want to be around me? And and if there's anything that you don't like about you, you can fix that. And when you fix that. When, when you start to like you more, it's going to be incredible. People are going to start to like you more. You're going to start to like your life more. You're going to start to enjoy your life more. Your life is going to become something that you love and something that you cannot get enough of. And I know you feel it. Now think about that feeling, hold that feeling, and think about how it would actually feel if you were to implement that and do that and, and keep doing that and make that a priority in your life. You'd feel amazing. Your energy levels would increase. OK, your immune system will be boosted. OK, your brain levels will be boosted. All right. You'll be having more stimulation in your life, more mental stimulation. OK, that everybody needs that. That makes your brain grow. That makes your brain increase. OK, when you love your life and you're thinking and things are everything's going in the right direction and, and things are positive and you're, you're, you're making money and you're having the best life ever and everything is working out. That's something that you can do. That's something that you can do with your time right now. So get to it. All right. That incredible life is yours. Okay. That wonderful life that you've been thinking about is yours. Okay. Smash that like button, smash that share button and smash that subscribe button because you are all you need. And I want you to know that you are all you need. Love yourself. Love, love the gifts that God gave you. Love God. Okay. And appreciate who you are and make yourself somebody, make yourself something that you love. Okay. Make yourself something that you love. Make yourself something that you care about. Woo! Yeah. Make yourself something that you love. Make yourself something that you care about. Make yourself something that you can't get enough of. Holla at your boy. I'll see you in the next video. This has been another Drew Tube special where we came to give you more and never lesser. I'll see everybody in the next video. All right.